Hello and welcome again to Adventures and Pop-Ups where we do campsite reviews, tips, tricks, hacks and mods to help you make your camping adventures more fun. We just spent a few days camping out in Quincy, Illinois and we spent a day in Hannibal, Missouri. It was awesome and we want to show you the highlights and tell you the good and the bad, mostly awesome, of our campsite that we stayed at at Driftwood Campground in Quincy. And we went and saw an awesome Mark Twain cave, um, did a bunch of swimming, check it out. And then we'll give you a campsite review. We had a great time at Driftwood Campground. I'm so glad we stayed there. The kids loved the pool. They could not wait for it to open. Like they were checking the watches, ready to go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, the playground was old school and I loved it. They had cornhole, they had extra seating. Our site was perfect. I went around the whole campgrounds. So we got the best site there. I can't tell you what number because it was rubbed off but um it was large it was shady it was spacious even if there were neighbors which there weren't they were pretty far away um it was it was awesome to just be able to see everything and not be on the other side of the park which has all the rv hookups if you have a large rv they had cement pads they had all the full hookups they had all the stuff that rvers need that we don't necessarily want in fact they actually called this site the primitive sites 
It was $28 a night, but it included water and 120 volt electric. That's why they... 20 amp. 20 amp. That's why they called it primitive. Um, it was just kind of a little gravel driveway. It wasn't a big cement pad, but it was perfect. It was so perfect, especially for pop-up camping. As you guys might know, if you have a pop-up camper, it's nice to have space to not be boxed in. It's great to be just feel like you're out in nature instead of in an RV park. And then what we do the second day? Second day, uh, well, we went swimming again. Yes. First thing in the morning. Yes. And then we drove down 30 minutes south to Hannibal, just across the river. Missouri. Uh, from Quincy, Illinois, down to Hannibal, Missouri. Did the Mark Twain uh, caves and did a little run through on their campground over there. Um, the cave is awesome. We did it a long time ago, maybe about seven, eight years ago. Yeah, it and was cool. So we only had two kids then. Now we got four. So we decided to take all four since they were a good age. They could remember it and have a great adventure. Um, it was like $23 a person and $14, $15 for kids. So about 100 bucks for a family of six. Yeah. And uh, wonderful time. It's a, about an hour tour. And we saw the autograph of Jesse James, the famous bank robber, and uh, just heard a lot of history, watched a little video, and did an awesome cave adventure. It was and, really cool. Uh, me and, Everyone loved me it. Me and the boys kind of went a little off trail and explored a little more of the cave than we were supposed to. So yeah, we, to say that. we made it extra fun. She didn't like that, though. But anyways, uh, I got my money's worth, so. <laughs> the campground there was pretty good. We'll probably make a little bonus video of that. They had they had a lot of different little things to do. Uh, years ago when we came, we did a little panning, gold panning uh, thing. So they have a little shop for that where you can buy bags uh, of jewels and gold flakes and stuff like that and pan for stuff. And uh, they've got a little restaurant. Um, they have a bar, like a big bar area. I just peeked in and looked around. There was like barely anybody in there. Um, but it looked like it was all open and functioning. Um, so right. it's June, so great weather. Yeah, it was beautiful. And of course the cave is always 52 degrees. Oh yeah. So if you come in the middle of summer, it's actually pretty nice to get a little reprieve. And not too moist, but pretty moist. Yeah, it was, it was really neat. The kids loved being able to see everything. I love being able to see it all. All right, well, how many stars are we gonna give it? Oh, right. Uh, I would I would base Out of it, five. I would base it at about, uh, about a four star, maybe three and a half. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking, three was, and a half, four. It's got a pool, so that's pretty much a solid four star. That was huge. It had, basically had all the amenities. It was a cute, small family campground, and the prices were incredibly reasonable. It was like staying, at a yeah. nice place for state park prices. I expect to pay 40 or more for a, a place with a pool. Yeah. So when you can get one for under 30 or $25. So I think they charged for a 12 and above extra person. Yeah, they might have tacked on a little so extra with six th people. Three bucks, a couple of nights, six bucks, big deal. But um, yeah, so four, four out of five stars and uh, location, location, location. If you want to see more about our camper that we use, we do have a tour video if you want to see the inside of it, see what it's like to have a big pop-up camper. We have a family of six, so um, we fit pretty nice in it and we love it. Also, we have a top 10 mods and essentials video. That one is awesome if you're looking to upgrade your camping experience. Um, we absolutely love all of our essentials and mods and it really makes it more enjoyable so that you don't you know, wish you could just go home because you got a terrible night's sleep. It makes it worth it. Memory foam. Yeah. Oh, you gave away the number one? Reflect it. Go watch the video and check it all out. We got lots of tips and tricks. And if you have some stuff for us, please let us know. We are always learning, always looking for more. We would love to hear from you guys. Drop us a comment. Go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button. Thank you for watching our video. And thanks for coming with us on our adventures. Adventures and pop-ups.